See, this falls under mine too, because yep. I do petition. Um, but I believe in free speech test, for, test. Test. for any reason. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Salvation is wrought of God and not of works. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus, who is God, says, I am the way, there's no other way. There's no other access to God the Father except by Jesus Christ. And the Holy Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It doesn't say become a church member. It doesn't say be baptized. It doesn't say to be good. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. And you say, preacher, I'm good. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. Well, preacher, no, not one. And the Bible already puts forth that argument, oh, I'm good. And the idea is, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world, that's you, that he gave, that's charity, his only begotten son, that's Jesus, that whosoever, that's you, believeth in him, Jesus, shall not perish, die into the lake of fire that burneth forever. John says, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. I'm sorry, this is a private show. This may not go on. Yes, again, I got permission to be here by lawyers. This is Magnolia Road. Hi. Take off the... Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's plain and simple. Salvation is wrought of God and only by God and through God. Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. The Bible also says, Marvel not, brethren, the world hate you. Know that it hated me first. The cops are right over here. You can contact them. But the gospel must be preached. And they preach on the public sidewalks of the United States of America by the Constitution. We have the right to be here. It's a private event, sir. Yeah, it's a private event. And the Call the cops. Are, we are. The police They're are on the way to explain it to you. So, and clean then, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't be so miserable. Because of the Holy Spirit, you get love, joy, peace, long-suffering. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now get the police. That isn't by any chance. Your Chevrolet truck right there? Nope. That was a big no. Yeah, okay. No, I'm parked over here. 
have no idea. <laughs> Probably one of the vendors right in the area. Oh, yeah. I've been, I'm dashing around there. I, it's, I'm just being fussy because I, I got here at 4.30 in the morning. So I can park there so I can see the truck, so I can see my dog, and somebody puts the here. Yep. So maybe it's you and I'll keep it. Take care now. Thank you. Now what this is. Yeah. By the farmer's market. Here's the farmer's market. We'll buy it. The Bible says, not of works. They're taking pictures. Please, any man boast. You're not going to work your way to God. It's impossible. For by grace are you saved through faith. And it's not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. And that gift of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. And that gift of God is Jesus Christ. The Bible says that you must be born again. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Because whosoever was not found, written in the Lamb's book of life, was cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Excuse me, are you guys supposed to be here? Are you guys supposed to be here? Are you guys supposed to be here? Yeah, this is my city. I know, and I know what you're seeing. I totally get that, and I totally get yeah. what you're trying to say. We're here every Saturday. But see, this is a festival, and, you know. There's and see, this is Jesus that. Christ, and this is the public sidewalk. Yes, and I do get that, but I recommend you guys escort for the police escort. You guys. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I want you to see, after an entire this thing, that we have the right to be on Mongolia on the public sidewalk, and behind it is. <laughs> The Supreme Court ruling about street preaching. Now, if we can go in a legal battle here, I can get my lawyers and get your lawyers and just totally shut you down if we can. Just let us preach. We're here for 45 minutes and then we go home. By the way, they told the police knows who we are and they're sick of us too. So again, the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And the worst thing they can do is just tell, you know, turn off the application. And I've got a loud voice too. But I'm going to proclaim Jesus. I'm going to proclaim the gospel because I am not ashamed of the gospel. And to hate Jesus Christ, the Bible already says, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you, know that it hated me first. And it's a great thing to see the Bible being played out before my eyes that Jesus is hated. He does, he, they don't want his name lifted up. And yet I'm here to lift up your voice. And lift up the voice of Jesus Christ, the saving hope, the blessed hope, the glorious hope that comes through God, through Jesus Christ. And I'm not here to preach a church and I'm not here to preach a religion. I stand here on a city public sidewalk preaching Jesus and that Jesus only can be saved your salvation to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved howdy sir hi my name is George Fortuna how are you how are you doing George I'm, kind of, I'm the chairman of the art festival yeah. here and um, we talked to the city about you know uh, soliciting and things like that and what you're doing now and um, they told me that I need to show you a permit that says we have the right to ask I'm on you to the leave. Sidewalk and I'll show you my permit from my lawyer that I can be on the sidewalk. No. Call the police. That's we already did. We already did. I, yeah. I didn't want to do that because yeah. it's going to make a scene for you. No, and I don't. I've already it. had those. This is why I had this paper. I dealt with the Daytona police. This, per, this permit says you got, that this You got yours. I got mine. This is a public sidewalk, a sidewalk sponsored by the public citizen. You can do whatever you want on the sidewalk legally. The police I'm not on you, your grass. I'm not on your road. The police will ask you to move to a different area that's not going to be conflicting with the Halifax Park Festival. You don't own this. There's your barricade. I don't own that either. So? I don't own that. Well, police. Where are the police coming? Get the police. 
this happened and we'll talk to land also right across from me. Sorry. And the police made him stop the they, microphone. They told me one time just to mention it to them, and I've done that, and then they're going to come and take care of the rest of the And stuff. without Drive the microphone, I still can proclaim Jesus Christ loud because God has given me a voice to lift up to Jesus Christ's sake. And for now, I will use the amplification that the world can hear to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Glory to God in the highest that Jesus Christ is being lifted up with mouth, for with the heart man believes unto salvation. With the mouth confessions made unto salvation. It's by a heart and the mouth that Jesus Christ is praised. And that honors God. And when you reject Jesus and you tell Jesus to get out of here, that's not pleasing of God. And you will say, oh, I'm a good person. I go to church, but I don't do what you do. But the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. It's that simple. There's no other way to God except by Jesus who said, I am the way. The truth and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can be saved and go to heaven through Jesus, or you can reject Jesus and go into the lake of fire that burneth forever. It's your choice by God. But Jesus said, though it's your choice, a free choice, you must be born again. And that new birth comes only by Jesus. And through Jesus alone. The cop right over there. And there's some right out there. Yeah, they're not going to do nothing because they dealt with us. Praise God, you know. And they said outside the barricades. We're yep. outside the barricades. So the question is, do you want to go to heaven? Who does it? Well, many people don't. But the answer to get to heaven is only through Jesus. And it's not going to be what you can do, what you can't do. It's only what Jesus Christ has done. For Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It is Jesus Christ that's come out of the grave. It's not religion. Religion's still dead, and if it's not buried, it will be buried. And out of the tomb came our God and our Savior. And our God and our Savior is Jesus Christ. The glory of God through Jesus. We are able to be saved by God, who is Jesus. And Jesus, who is the Son of God. And to the glory of God, and to the angels that rejoice in heaven when one sinner repents and gets right by Jesus Christ alone. Heaven does not rejoice over a baptism. The angels do not celebrate when a man joins a church. But when a man comes to Calvary and sees the suffering, bleeding God, Savior, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world, when they see that upon the cross, and they say that that is my only means to be saved, I will receive that bloody sacrifice upon Calvary's hill as my soul cleansing of my sin. I repent of my sin. That's salvation. And a Christian is a person that's come to Calvary's cross and has received Jesus Christ and has come out of the empty tomb saved by God. That's a Christian. And don't be so easy to throw the name Christian. Because just because you say you're a Christian doesn't mean you are a Christian. 
A Christian is washed in the blood of the land that takes away the sin of the world. And the Bible says all have sinned and all has come short of the glory of God. And when you come up short, you will fall into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Even in hell, hell will go into the lake of fire that burns forever. And forever. And ever. And the Bible speaks about hell being a place of torments. Tormenting. Forever. And ever. And ever. And yet the love of God, Jesus Christ, the salvation of God, Jesus Christ, you are able to get to heaven. And the Bible says those that are saved when you die, you are absent from the body and present with the Lord. Or any moment the rapture may happen and Christ will take his bride. And the Bible says to those that are saved, you're going to get a brand new body. A body of no more sorrow, no more sin, no more pain, no more suffering. And you can have a doctor in heaven, but you will not need him. That doctor will be rejoicing with you through Jesus, Jesus on the throne. You may have a pharmacist in heaven. You will not need his services. He'll be rejoicing about God over the brand new body that he will not have to dispense your drugs no more. There's no more death in heaven. There's no more party. There's no more saying goodbye, I'll never see you again. And it'll be a place where your loved ones that have received Christ to be with you. And yet hell, when you reject Jesus Christ, Hell is a place where you are rejected by God. It's a place called the wrath of God. And upon the wrath of God, the Bible says there's torment. And there's full of pain. And there may be a pharmacist in hell, but he can't dispense you any drugs for your relief, as he will be in torment. There'll be no alcohol in hell. That won't relieve. There'll be no drugs, no illegal drugs, no over-the-counter drugs, no prescription drugs in hell for your relief. And in heaven, those are not needed because your relief will be the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You can die in your sin and go to hell or you can trust in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world and get everlasting joy and peace and Jesus said I am the way that's it no other way I am the truth Jesus said I am the life Jesus said no man cometh unto the father that's God except by me so when Jesus is the way your religion is not going to save your soul. I'm sorry, it's not. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's not baptism. Baptism gets you wet. And in hell you wish you had that little drop of that water to cool the tip of your tongue as you're tormented in those flames. It's that simple. Prepare for he comes. Salvation can be only wrought of God. And only by God. And that's it. You cannot be saved by anything else but Jesus. Only Jesus Christ will save your soul. That's it. And you say, well, that's one ism. That's it. That's what the Bible, it's not what I'm saying, it's what the Bible says. Jesus said, I am the way. You know, if you're going down the road and it says one way, you've got to go one way. 
And if you don't, you're going to cause an accident. And when you don't go one way with Jesus Christ, you're going to cause an accident. You're going to die and wake up in hell by going the wrong way. And you don't have to do nothing to go the wrong way. But you do have to do something to believe on Jesus to get to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only means that God has set forth, no matter what religion, God the Father, the Almighty of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of the Holy Bible, says, my son, Jesus Christ, is the only way you can get to me. And you're going to dare to come to God and say, God, look how good I am. And he's going to say, look how good Jesus is. Well, God, look at the works I've done. Look at Jesus Christ suffering and dying according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Look to good, how good my son is. Look how good Jesus is. Now top Jesus with your goodness. Go ahead. Try to outweigh Jesus by giving money. Try to outdo Jesus by going to church. Jesus is the author and head and the finisher of the church. You're not going to top what he has done. When the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. When the glory of God is Jesus. When God's glory is all about Jesus Christ. Friend, there is no other way. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There's nothing else that can save your soul. I myself saved April 21st, 1987. I came out of the Catholic Church. I did the Catholic things. And I was still lost in going to hell. On a Saturday afternoon, a brother saved in the Lord came to me with a Bible. And opened the Bible and says, You are a sinner. I said, yeah, okay, yes I am. He says, because you are a sinner, you're going to hell and showed me in the Bible. I said, okay, I'm a sinner. I'm going to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to burn. I guess my church can't save me. What must I do? And I knelt down and I asked the Lamb of God to save my soul. I repented of my sins and I believed on the Lamb of God. And I got my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. I've got the Holy Spirit that dwelled in me. I became a child of God only through Jesus Christ. That's salvation. And there's nothing else. Your pastor, your priest, your rabbi, your guru, your whatever cannot save your soul. And if you go to a priest, he's a sinner, so you're bringing sins to a sinner to add more sins to your sins and to his sins, and you're just multiplying sins, and you need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You have a terminal condition. You will die because of sin. The wages of sin is death. Now we die all many ways. We die of natural causes. We die because we got hit by a bus. We, got, we die of a heart attack. We die of stroke. We die, 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 die. But the main reason why we die, we are sinners. The wages of sin is death. That's it. You need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. No lamb, no Jesus, no salvation. He that has the Son, Jesus, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. 
no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There's no ifs, ands, buts. There's no loopholes. You come through the door of heaven, through the door. Jesus said, I am the door to the sheep. Jesus said, I am the water of life. Jesus said, I am the bread. I am. I am. You know what the I am is to the Jewish people? When Moses spoke to God, to the burning bush, Moses said, God, what's your name? And God said, I am that I am. You know what Jesus said? He says, I am, I am, I am. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. You've got to put your faith in the right Jesus, the holy Jesus. And the Bible tells us that there is another Jesus out there. There's a Jesus who's not God. That's Jehovah Witnesses. That's the wrong Jesus. There's a Jesus that you can eat. That's Catholicism. You can't digest Jesus for salvation. There's a hippie Jesus that does drugs and, and, and meditates, and that ain't going to save your soul. You've got to believe upon the Jesus that is God. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Plain and simple. You will not get to heaven without Jesus. Again, you will not get to heaven without Jesus. If you do not have the Son, you will not see eternal life, and you will face the wrath of God. And the wrath of God is hell. You may have a wonderful, great life here on this miserable planet called Earth. You might be in riches, you might be in luxury, you might be well favored, but if you're not known by God, and the Bible says the rich man died, and in hell he lifted up his eyes. You with Yeshua also, huh? Good man. Yep. So that's it. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. The way, the truth, and the light. And I am the light. Well, my priest, your priest is not the truth. He's not the way. He's not the life. And he cannot be trusted with your eternal soul. He may not even be trusted with your children. You're going to take something that you cannot trust with your children and trust your eternal life? Well, preacher, I'm an atheist. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You're an atheist, the Bible calls you a fool. You know what you're to do? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you can be saved. Atheists can be saved. Catholics can be saved. Drunks can be saved. Art people can be saved. Customers can be saved. The glory of God can be saved. The glory of God is salvation. Excuse me. He's telling them that we are where we are. Yeah, just let it be known that we are being watched by the police and by the people on this camera. Anybody can be saved. And anybody can go to hell. We're here that you may not go to hell. We will tell you how not to go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Preacher, how do I get to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. 
Preacher, I want to go to hell and party. What do I do? Don't do nothing. But that's not the place you want to go. You ain't going to smoke. You ain't going to drink. You ain't going to party. You ain't going to be with your friends in hell. You're going to be in torment. The devil has you fooled. Hell is not a place of party. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures that we may believe on him not to go to hell. God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. He wants to save your soul. It is you that's being stubborn. You are preventing yourself to be saved with either pride or ignorance. You can't say ignorance no more because a loud mouth preacher has proclaimed that only Jesus saves. That's it. I'm not here for any church. I'm not here for any baptism. And I got a body of water behind me. I will baptize you. I will tell you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Religion is made by the devil and man. And Jesus Christ is God approved. The standard to do what God tells us to do is through Jesus. And do not be fooled because the Bible says there's another Jesus out there. There's another gospel. There's another spirit. Try to make sure that what you are believing is the right way of salvation. Listen, there are Jesus out there a dime a dozen plus shipping and handling. Do you have a license to disturb the peace? I have the U.S. Constitution. I wish you'd shut the fuck up. Oh, well. You stupid idiot. You Thank you. You believe in a fairy tale. Thank you. That was, that's over 2,000 years ago. No, oh, Jesus Christ is alive in my heart right now. For Jesus said, I am the way. There is no other way. Hey, that guy preach atheism on your side of the art circle. You got to get him out of the art circle. He preach, he preach atheism in, in your art clinic. We're preaching Jesus outside. That's illegal. The glory of God. The glory of God is Jesus. And you can glorify God by glorifying Jesus. It's simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You know your loud voice turns people off to Jesus? Because it's, you, they associate Jesus with idiots like you. And you've got to be disturbing the peace. You might have the constitutional rights to talk but not to yell in a wonderful setting like this. Like you're yelling. I'm yelling to shut you up, asshole. No, I'm yelling to tell people about Jesus. You're yelling to shut me up. See, isn't the Constitution great? Yeah. But you can't do that on that side of the art because you can't have your rights on that side of the, on that side of the art show. All right, away from that, let's get back on Jesus. I don't care what you think about Jesus, what the Bible says. The Bible tells me, go out and preach the gospel. Go into the places of concourse and preach wisdom. Wisdom is God. Wisdom is Jesus Christ. And the Bible already said, marvel not, brethren, if the world hates you. You're only testifying to what the Bible says about you. The Bible said there'll be scorners. There he was. The Bible says there'll be fools. The Bible says there'll be simple. There'll be people that reject Jesus. Thank you for proving the Bible correct to me. You know, it was the religious people that said crucify him. It was God's people that said put him on that cross. And Jesus was good and he was sinless and he did no harm and he did no evil. And they said crucify him. And when you preach Jesus on the street, you know what they say? Get rid of him. Shut him up. You know what the preacher says? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 
I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of Jesus. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. Warning. The more you complain, the louder I'll get. Because I love lifting up my voice to Jesus. I love to praise Jesus. People come down to Daytona Beach and they praise the stock cars. Oh, look, number 44 going in a circle. Oh, number 44 going in a circle. Right hand turn, right hand turn. Whoopie do. I come here and preach Jesus. God, manifest in the flesh, able to save your soul. That's much better than stock car. That's much better than sport. Jesus is able to save your soul. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus called Emmanuel. God is with us. Jesus Christ. You know what Jesus means? It means Jehovah saves. And salvation comes only by Jesus. You will not get to heaven without Jesus. Never. It won't happen. You can't even wish to get to heaven without Jesus. You cannot hope to get to heaven without Jesus. Because the Bible says Jesus is the blessed hope. There's no better hope than Jesus. You know what blessed means? It means happy. The happiest hope is Jesus. And we have seen people without happiness. We have seen people who have no joy in their heart. And all I can say for you is... You don't have Jesus. You don't have the Holy Spirit. Call it what it is. It is pleasing to have somebody come and rank on me and yell at me because the Bible said they're going to do it. And that encourages me more to preach. But salvation. Think about going to heaven. Going to heaven is by Jesus and Jesus alone. That's it. There's no other way. I've explained it to them. They're good. I've explained it to them. They're good. All right. Okay, thank you. Bother. Thank you, officer. So, God's glory. It's not your glory. God's glory. Well, we dealt with them all. God's glory. Think about what is what is the almighty God that made these clouds and these trees and you. Now we're not a product of evolution. Now you can be a monkey's uncle. But you can be a child of God through Jesus. I'm a child of God through Jesus. I am saved only by Jesus. It is nothing I can do. I'm not perfect. I am not proclaiming to be perfect. I don't have the way to be saved. I only profess that Jesus saved my soul and only Jesus. That's it. And the glory of God is Jesus Christ. My only glory is Jesus Christ. Where's my glory in my pocket? So, that's it. See this water? Isn't water great? It moistenizes it my mouth to preach more. It takes care of my thirst. It says, go ahead, preach more. But you know, I'm going to have to have a bottle of water later. I'm going to have to have a bottle of water after that. I'm going to have to have water to the day I die. But Jesus said, I'm the living water. And he that drinketh of me shall never thirst. Since April 21st, 1987, when I got saved, I had never had a thirst for salvation. I've never had a thirst of righteousness because it's been all pleasing through God, Jesus Christ. Now, Rachel. Yeah, can't go past those lines. Jesus Christ said, I am the living water. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're not allowed over there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't start playing music.
Thank you.